Before we get going with the episode, I just want to tell you something that I'm very excited about. We have now been joined by someone I've been using for a long, long time and I've kept them a secret to myself. But for my clients coming to Africa, I've been using Gracie Travel. Folks, if you are coming to Africa or anywhere in the world, in fact, but especially if you're traveling with guns, Gracie Travel are amazing. I've kept them to myself for a long time, but I'm putting it out there to you now. Enjoy the episodes. Last week on This Is Africa, we watched how even when using the best bullets in the business, you can still lose your quarry with a misplaced shot. This week, we'll watch how professional hunter York Marais has the monumental task of trying to locate the exact same crocodile in an area with a really, really high concentration of crocodiles. Will the ancient reptile be recovered? Let's find out. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. Everyone knows that a crocodile, taking a crocodile of that size and a, taking a shot at a crocodile like that is already tough. Reload, reload, it's going. And then when they literally turn just after the shot and disappear into the water and you never see them again. Uh, I think a lot of feelings went through Matt's mind and body at that stage. I think he must have felt shattered. Physically, mentally, everything. We are going to look for the wounded crocodile and we are taking lunch with us. Because yesterday everyone was a bit lethargic on the, on the move. <laughs> the whole thing about that was we really wanted to find that crocodile and we weren't going to give up. No, so we just did that walk to go and see where we shot that crocodile yesterday. And he's across the river now. We've got to go back around, get in the boat, dig our way through the weeds, do a big loop around him, get the wind right, and come up alongside him and hopefully we can get a shot and end this. Put him in the salt. In the shot you can see that he had a, a white piece of flesh come off of his back. And that's what I used to try and identify him. It takes its toll on you. And every day that you don't find it, you get more and more depressed. And it works on you mentally. And I think you kind of start feeling like you failed in yourself. It's my fault. Definitely. Inches, right? Yorkie inches. Shish. <sighs> Why? 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 Why is that not in the back of the truck, Yorkie? Poor performance, once again. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In these situations, a good cameraman will always, always help his client to feel a little bit better about himself. Oh, watch back that uh... shot again, yeah. Do you really have to relive this all over again, Andy? I know what the f happened. Andrew. <laughs> We played on the big screen. You know how amazing it would be to be sitting holding his bosses like this now. Yeah, I do. What have you got to say about your client's performance? He's shooting in the stars. <laughs> <laughs> looking for aliens. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me. Yes, sir. I'm just making sure you're awake, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. It is a good idea just to take an afternoon off and go and shoot a bush buck or try and find a kudu or a zebra and just bring back everyone's excitement again. And we're off. There's two. Which one? 
He's walking. He's got others behind him. Let's see, let's walk down and see if we can get a bit closer. You good? Good job, son! Yeah, beautiful Impala, wide. All those rams there still standing. Yeah, that was a good poke. Yeah, it was a good poke. <laughs> Luckily we managed to cut half the distance though. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, we got to these bushes Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah, let's go and have a look at them. It's always good to get something in the truck. Brings everyone's spirits back up. I love Africa. <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful wide, eh? Yeah, very wide. Sure. Light too. Yeah. Mm. Well done, buddy. Back on it. <laughs> These sticks did well, eh? Yeah. Yeah, those sticks are real nice. Hey, 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 hey. Ombe. That is a beaut of an Impala. <laughs> Stunning. And check all his ivory coming out on the ridges. See that? Yeah. From rubbing. Yeah, from rubbing. Now he's stunning. Yeah. So we took another short walk down onto here, Umi Zero. You can see it's a beautiful big floodplain. And there was a pile of impala and this beautiful ram inside. I mean, he just stood out. You didn't even have to look very hard. And yeah, Matt did a great shot. <laughs> Dropped him, beautiful trophy. And yeah, we see what tomorrow's got to bring for us. This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. Swift bullets are very well known by everyone in the hunting industry as being a really tough bullet. When they first came out with the Swift A-frame, it was the bullet that revolutionized softs. Until that point, softs used to break, break apart and, and, and fall apart and, and were, a little, were very soft. These are really tough bullets. They don't, they don't lose a lot of, they don't lose in fact, they lose very little weight at all. Sometimes nothing at all. And um, they mushroom perfectly every single time. The way they're designed, the Swift A-frame is just known for being a really good bullet for Africa. One bullet we don't know so much about about the Swifts is the Sorocos. Very popular in North America. They're a little bit softer than the A-frame, but they hold together well. Very, very precise bullet. Very sleek, good looking design and it works very well for African Plains game and our cats. Very good for lion and leopard. And then finally, the last one is the breakaway solid. Now, very few people know about this breakaway solid. This little black honeycomb type thing on the front is only to helping with feeding. Underneath that, it's concave, so it's got like a a dip design which helps for going, making a straight wound channel. The breakaway solid penetrates further than any other solid on the market and I will guarantee you that. I've seen a 458 shoot an elephant in the, from behind and the bullet was we found on the front shoulder of the elephant. Now anyone who knows how big the Botswana bulls get, that is some serious, serious penetration. Earlier this year, with the breakaway solid, again, we shot a buffalo from behind, went straight through the entire buffalo, out the front of the neck here, and lodged in the horn of the buffalo. That is incredible penetration. Folks, when you're using a solid, what you want is penetration. The swift breakaway solid is very hard to beat. In, in fact, I'll guarantee you it's impossible to beat. Swift A-frame, Chiraco, and the new breakaway solid. All bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. Guys, our first and only sponsor out of South Africa, Ultra Nexus, are absolutely amazing. They've got all the Pulsar goods. If you've been watching any of my Hyena Hitman episodes, you will know that these are amazing. Hyenas run away from any sort of flashlight, so this has been a big game changer for us. Um, in terms of uh, predator control, I've got a buddy in Namibia who's been using the Pulsar goods on his uh, game ranch and he says it has paid for itself 
through and through because he's shot so many jackals because they just obviously don't even know you're there. So guys, check out Ultra Nexus for all these goods. They've got flashlights. These flashlights are absolutely amazing. Um, if it was dark, you would see, but uh, this thing makes you feel like, like God with the sun in your hands. Hearing protection, ear mores. These are very reasonably priced and they are so comfortable and so good. You, I'll actually challenge you to find a better set of ear, ear defenders than these. Um, they also do come with Bluetooth options, uh, insert, little ear insert type ones, these proper cover overs. They've got all the different options and they are very reasonably priced. So have a look and see. What I'm most excited about for Ultra Nexus is the Havilon knives have now arrived. And I've got mine. It's called a Barracuda Blaze. It's, you gotta have a look at this knife. It is one seriously good looking skinning knife. Look at that bad boy. They are seriously, seriously sharp. So just be careful. Um, and yeah, get it while stock lasts because they don't have a lot of stock in South Africa, but get hold of Ultra Nexus. They will be able to tell you where any of these products that I've just mentioned are available close to you in South Africa. Back to the episode. This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Always during a hunt, you'll come across something randomly. And out here, you're not guaranteed on driving onto anything all the time. So if you do bump into something, you take advantage of that fully. Matt, come, 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 come. He's standing here. Can you see him there? There he is there. Okay, come, come, come. Let's go, let's go, come. Got him, buddy. <laughs> that was the first one. I'm I sorry. was waiting for him to come out, and he just smoked him. <laughs> One cooter in the back. What did you do? Got him. He's Good old, eh? Good eyes, buddy. I don't want to go look at our kind. Old, is it? Not very long, but look at look yeah. how worn down he is, and look at all nice the ivory, ivory tips, all yeah. the ivory. Beauty. That is stunning. That's, that's stunning, huh? Beautiful. Check this ivory out on us. All the way up. Both sides. Beautiful old bull. That first bullet knocked him down though. Oh yeah, it hurt him hard. Matt thought he was going to not come back into the park. Ooh. Yeah. First shot with the swift. He put a good old Texas heart shot into him. Anchored him for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. He got up and he ran into this thick stuff here. Matt put a second shot coaching which was perfect and dropped him on the spot. Beautiful old bull, beautiful ivory. Can't get any better than that. And we've earned it. We've uh, we've tried for one of these for, like York said, four trips. And you know, we finally anchored one. And, and a beautiful old, beautiful old bull. Beautiful, beautiful white ivory. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. On this safari, Matt's buddy Footy was hunting with Big Gareth Brown and he had his 50th birthday party. Footy likes to fish, so we fished. Oh, we're hooked into something here, Andy. Not sure what it is, but oh. it's pretty good size. <laughs> Take your life. Oh, listen to that thing. He ain't too happy with you, boy. No. Come on. Oh, no. You I thought we could go down. Bring it up, bring it up. Yeah, I'm trying, bud. Got <laughs> <Turn> my hat. 
Nice. Mundo! <laughs> that is a fish. Yes, sir. Nice. Well done, boy. Mundo fish. Good job, Matty. What's that? 30 pounds? Just under 30. All right, whack him in. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Hold the fort. Goodbye, big fella. Bye, big fella. Uh, what's going on there? I got a big fish here, Andy. <laughs> this thing's fighting. This is a tough fish. My first one. Ah, that's a boy. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Take 20, he takes 40. Mm, that's, that's okay, we're gonna. That might go in with you, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> no down. Here you go, brother. Woo! Well, well, that's just easy. Woo. At this point, I must tell you that our professional hunter, York Marie, is very pedantic about his fishing equipment. He's like a woman with her Tupperware. He always wants it returned especially his fish lip grip that he always insists goes around your wrist. Ugh. Holy. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. You're one, I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh no! The clipper thing's on his lip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you No way. That's why we put that stringer on. The nicest thing about life is you can always, always get revenge. And when I saw Yorki smiling like a little Cheshire cat, I knew he was up to something sneaky. All jokes aside, Footy had the time of his life and hauled in some beautiful, beautiful big Vundu catfish. We without a gripper. Doo -doo. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you are, you animal. <laughs> there we go. Number two. Oh no, I am you. Oh. Awesome. As much as we all love sitting in the sun, fishing and drinking Kool-Aid, we still had the very important task of trying to locate Matt's big lost wounded crocodile. Revenge of the turbo gecko. The crocodile that got away, but not today. Maddie's gonna put the hammer on him. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. Seven to ten days floating down the Zambezi River. If you don't know about the River God, check it out. It's a once in a lifetime experience. In fact, I do it every year because I'm, I'm hooked basically and I love fishing. These guys are bucket list material. You've got a private chef, you've got a private guide, walks in the wilderness of the famous Mauna Pools National Park. If you're looking for a tiger fishing experience, this is the one. Check them out, there's the details. These guys are bucket list material. The Houston Safari Club Foundation is hugely instrumental in conducting conservation across the globe. These guys are huge advocates for hunting, raising a lot of money. They educate a lot of people. They promote hunting to the up and coming youths, which is absolutely important for the preservation of hunting and conservation on this planet. 
and they are experts in conservation. So if you would like to contribute to conservation here in Africa or anywhere in the world or just conservation in general, you can do so very simply by just joining the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Just by joining, you are directly contributing some money towards conservation in the world. So do it. Folks, back to the episodes. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. In the shot, you can see that he had a, a white piece of flesh come off of his back. And that's what I used to try and identify him. The plan there was just to go back every day and check. Every day and just walk up and down that river system. Second time round, we all just decided that an extra two bullets going its direction might be better than just one. As soon as Matt shot, then I would back up. When he was coming out the water, when we found him, he had a fleck on his back, and that's what I used to identify him. This is Africa is brought to you by Right On Optics. I hunt for escape. I hunt for conservation. I hunt for tradition. I hunt for empowerment. I hunt for the challenge. I hunt for the adventure. And I hunt for me. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. Can you see the horn on top of the head? Yeah. Two inches under that. Okay. I mean, I want your rim. Let me just get my rifle. Okay, we're shooting. Okay. Yeah, you take all the time you need. Okay. 
and that be them crocodile gun battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buddy, buddy. you flippin' smoked him. Well done. Whew. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, is that swift hit it hard, eh? Yeah, very hard. Yeah. The head came up and. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, buddy. Three days of hard work and perseverance to get him at the first shot. And then it's been another three days, or two days? Three days, huh? Three days. After the first shot, yeah, and we days. found him. Sorry, I was unleashing. <laughs> I was like, this bastard looking nowhere. Good job, buddy. Oh, properly out. What are you saying? I hit his head. Perfect. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, this is an absolute monster of a crocodile. I'm not sure if the video or the camera is going to do it justice, but um, Matt, well done, sir. You got yourself a fantastic crocodile. And this is around that 14 foot mark. But like I say to everyone, it's the hunt and the experience that uh, that really counts. And we've had a good one, haven't we? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, phenomenal hunt. Uh, a challenge at times. Yeah, it's made us work for it. Five days in total. But it was worth but it in the end. We got him. Yes, absolutely. You pulled off a great final shot. Well done. Thank you. Andy, well done thanks, buddy. Yoki. Um, Yoki's done a great job. I mean, not easy to spot this crocodile out of all the crocodiles. So um, to find the exact same one and to make a good shot, um, realize what he did wrong the first time. Matt made a brilliant shot. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome one. Thank you, Yoki. You, Pleasure, buddy. You're a star. Man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well Thank done, you. Maddie. Well Thank done. Thank you so much. But you put everything you can in to make that time successful because it's a long way to come, it's a lot of money and it's, it takes time away from them at home with their families as well. Well folks, if that teaches us anything, it's that persistence always pays. If this is the kind of fun and adventure that you seek, get hold of me through the website www.tia5.com and fulfill your dreams. We'll see you right here next time on TIA. Next time on This Is Africa, as humans and wildlife come into increasing conflict, someone has to play peacekeeper. Meet the hyena hitman. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps me a lot. Please, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.